Hey everyone, I am very pleased to announce that I have released today my NXCAD analysis tools. Now, this is to analyze your surfaces for class A quality, as well as if things can be manufactured, like with draft analysis, or if things are safe for homologation for minimum radius for, let's say, pedestrian impact or passenger, anything in and around the vehicle. So there's over five hours of the analysis tools. And as promised, anybody that has taken the NX Mastery Bundle is going to get access to any course that I release for the rest of the year. So this is now part of that bundle. And I've also created another bundle, which we'll talk about here shortly. But to get into this, I'm going to the course, click on it. What you'll see is I get a deep, deep dive into continuity, All right? What does it actually mean? I know there's a lot of questions surrounding it. I've got videos, but I get into a little bit more detail in some areas within the continuity discussion, what it means. The display analysis tools, things like visualizing your control points and your knots and that type of thing. But I also get into other analysis types that are seldomly talked about or I don't see many people using anymore, unfortunately, like the stretch zoom or crunch zoom or whatever you want to call it, that type of thing, and give examples as to why you still want to use these, we'll call them old fashioned tools, because they give us a quite remarkable way of stretching into an area to verify that the area is good. So I get into all of that. Curve shape tools, you know, do your curves look good? You want to make certain they look good. You want to analyze those curves. This, a good understanding of this leads us into the face shape tools because when we get into section analysis and the highlight lines and grid analysis, what you learn here is very applicable to these tools. So understanding these at a deep level will make understanding how to use these a lot easier. And as I mentioned before, I get into draft analysis. With draft analysis, this makes sure that you don't have a dialogue scenario. And I talk about the best practice to set up draft analysis, as well as the radius analysis. Again, measuring for minimum radius on surfaces for pedestrian and passenger safety, things like homologation. Then we get into relation tools, the deviation gauges. If I'm designing something to a mesh or section curves, how to set that up. Then we get into continuity checking. The continuity checking is very important because now I can verify what my surface boundaries are doing against one another. So I may have a certain requirement, minimum G2, G1. I have a tolerance to edges, tolerance for tangency, and I talk about how to get into setup and some cases what those tolerance are every studio has its own set of tolerances and I talk a little bit about that in here as well now we go back as you can see it's a relatively inexpensive course and I bundled it in with various other courses like the NURBS modeling essentials and to be very honest I don't use too many of the CAD analysis tools in this course but I will be adding an additional NURBS modeling class A course based on these. So these are basically well, almost a prerequisite for the next course. We're gonna get into bigger, more advanced shapes, some advanced methods that I use, things that I've come up with over the years because I've been doing this for so long that I really haven't seen many other people use because most people, what I see, use the tool kind of like if it's a non-parametric tool set. They go in there, lay surfaces out, but they don't necessarily consider the parametrics that can be used. And I get into how to parametrically define everything. And because of that level of parametrics, there are additional methods that I've come up with to make things very easy to manipulate as well as look good. So that next course that's coming up is going to include all of that. Now, if I go to NX Online, these are all the courses that I have put together and available to you. If I go to All Products, you'll note 
up forward, I have the Class A Surfacing Suite as well as the NX Mastery Suite. So again, for those that took the Mastery Suite, I've included the new course. You'll get another course here in a few weeks. Uh, we'll have uh, several more before the end of the year, and again, they will be included in the Mastery Suite. If we take a look what's in there, you'll note pretty much all the courses. Everything is in there. The sheet metal, the NURBS modeling, analysis, all that stuff is in here. Now, if I go back and I go into my Class A Surfacing Suite, these are the courses that are a part of it. So you get all of these. You got to learn how to do curves. You got to learn how to do the Shape Studio tools. You have to learn how to analyze things. And then, of course, we get into NURBS modeling. So as I said, I'll have another one that's going to be introduced into here for far more advanced surfacing. And for anybody that gets in on the bundle, this is an excellent price. You will not find a better price for this. And again, this is introductory prices. These will eventually go up. And I do have a split payment. So if you don't want to fork out that much right away, you can split it across two months. And you, like I said, you will get another additional course here. And anything else in the mastery bundle, this mastery suite that I put in, well, everything will go in here. So if you want to go with that mastery suite, you'll get everything as well as there's going to be a couple of other courses that I introduced that won't necessarily be a part of the class A course, but they will be a part of the mastery bundle. So again, if you're interested, go for it. Let me know. Uh, talk to me and you know we can set up arrangements if there's a large group of you that want to take it maybe several of you at a company that are looking to take courses we can set things up set up a bundle specifically for you there so i'm as i said i'm very happy to announce that and again i'll have several more before the end of the year and some of them will be introduced and placed in the class a surfacing suite and everything else will be in the mastery suite again Thank you to those that have taken the courses. I really appreciate it. I'm trying to get as much information out to everybody as I possibly can. Again, I have a deep-rooted knowledge in some of this stuff just because I've been involved with it not only for so long, but I've also been involved with developers from working at GM, friends of mine that work at Siemens, and having worked around so many people in so many industries around the world, I've gained a lot of knowledge, and again, I'm trying to put all that knowledge into these courses for you. Again, thank you.